Hello, hello. Hello, hi. How are you? Oh, I'm well. What about you? I'm good. You're beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. We have my phone, my you. ponytail was hurting my head. Yeah, I bet. I bet if you always wear it in a ponytail. Do we have a sound issue, a sound issue or no? Um, you guys tell us. Do we have a sound issue? I find you sound okay. All right. How is everyone doing, guys? What's going on in your day? It's yeah, in your part of the world. With cupcake decorating today with my friend Marlon. And my friend Haniela. <laughs> So just so you guys can see, our first cupcake uh, episode, let's call it, was uh, we kind of kicked it off with just the basics, and then we did food theme, and today we're headed to the beach, right? Yes. Yes, we are. Hi, Susan. Um, Hello. Oh, slowly. Packaging bridal cookies. As I watch, good luck. Yeah, I, I don't like packaging, right? It's it takes so long. It's such an underestimated um, yes part of the decorating process. Because absolutely, yeah. So good absolutely. luck, with Laura. I when I used to take orders eons ago, I would charge extra because I was actually hoping people would want to save money, and I wouldn't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> But sometimes they want special packaging with the tags. I used to do the tags on the top. Absolutely. Okay. But I would, I would be an add-on. So hi, guys. Where are you guys watching from? Let us know in the comment section. We'd love to hear where you guys are watching from. What are you doing today? What's going on this week? How is the weather? Are you headed to the beach? Yes, we're, we're going to have a beach in our kitchen. So yes. in my case, on Friday, we're live on Fridays with Sweet Ams. I actually did my toppers on Friday. I'll revisit some of it on, from Friday. Is your Friday project here? Or did I you did not work? work? You didn't work Friday. Did I you? did work. Oh, you did? I did. I did. Come on. I did work. I did work. Uh, I, uh, I did uh, neon cookies. Don't you remember? Oh, yes, but I don't see them in the pictures. No, I did not upload them yet. I have to take pictures. Hello, everyone. Hey, so I'm Mary, fire chick. All oh, right, so Pan. Working on the, on the ambulance. Thank you. Hi, June. Did you want to go first? Hey, June. Um, sure, I can go first. All so right. Since so I'm using, I actually was able to. <laughs> Believe it, or, believe it or not, I was able to put up a supply list along with the recipes that I use for today's project in my coffee shop. And today I'm going to be making um, something I haven't done, but I wanted to try um, years ago. And so today was like, it was a good, good... Um, um, occasion. A good occasion, yes. Good occasion. So I'm going to be doing uh, ice cream cone. There you go. Cone shark cupcakes. Oh, here, let me switch you. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. Bigger. Bigger, Bigger. yes. So these are really, really fun to do. Um, I put together a supply list where you guys can find this. Uh, stand that I'm using today. It comes really handy, especially if you are using sugar cones that don't have a flat bottom. Ideally, I would like to, I would have liked to get the flat bottom, but I couldn't find those. So I use sugar cones instead. Mm -hmm. and bake your batter inside of each of these lovely sugar cones um, and have them nested in, in this stand. It's pretty sturdy. I have two of these. One is, um, you know, for photos because this will get, you know, it does get kind of dirty when you are baking in it. Um, and so I used my one bowl sponge cake, but it's a variation that I have in a recipe for la mignons. What happens when you're baking um, batter in these ice cream cones? Uh, it tends to dry out. So in my batter, I actually have honey. Hi, Amber. You can also use agave to keep it moist. 
And I also added um, maybe a teaspoon or two of strawberry jam to just make sure that they are moist. And to decorate, I'm using um, Swiss buttercream. I just released a new updated version of my recipe on my blog. It is one of my favorite um, buttercreams to use when it comes to cake decorating and cupcake decorating. It pipes beautifully onto the cakes and it's just so luscious and delicious. It's not as sweet as uh, American buttercream. It does take a little longer to put together because you have to, it's a meringue based buttercream. You have to heat egg whites and sugar together. Um, but I do like using it and look how beautifully it pipes onto the cakes. So that's what I will be using today. And I'm going to, I guess we can go ahead and start. So I've got my ice cream cone here. And first I'm going to use some blue buttercream and I also have some white buttercream. Oh, no, I need to first make the shark, uh, shark fin. So to make the shark fins, I am using sour streamers, my favorite. I couldn't find the shark candies, but I'm actually glad I couldn't because I love how these turned out. These are really, really tasty. And so what you can do, you can just cut these up. Obviously wash your hands before you do this. And then just want to cut it like so. And then And you get to eat all the scraps. Yes, you know me so well. <laughs> Too well. So that's the first shark fin. Let's do the second one. And this, I think kids could do it. I mean, older kids probably, not super young kids. But well, Those are really fun to do all kinds of things. You could do flower petals. You could do so many things with it. I was trying to cut out the uh, flip-flops. Because oh, I, will, I, I, have a small, I have a small beach beach scene that we are going to do with the shark fin as well, but um, they're kind of finicky because they have to be quite small. Okay, so these are pretty easy to do and it's so fast. That's the best part of it. So yes, you will spend some time on making the buttercream. It's going to be totally worth it and everybody's going to give you compliments and they will want a recipe, so then you will link them to my blog. <laughs> and um, then you'll just, you know, it took, what, two seconds to cut these out. So now I am going to put this aside. Here's my, here is my buttercream. Now, one thing about Swiss buttercream, it is a bit more difficult to color. And what I like to, you can use um, regular gel food colors because I find that's what most people have, or you could use candy, which are oil-based, and they will work straight with the buttercream. But if you're using gel-based colors, they don't work very well. The, but the colors are not getting blended in. So what I do, I take a little bit, maybe like this amount of buttercream, put it in a small bowl with the food color, I whisk it, and then I microwave it. And what, what it does, the heat kind of, um, um, releases the color or whatever, and it just blends together. And then you can add your remaining white, white buttercream and you, you can really color your sweet buttercream into vibrant colors. Okay. Cause I know. Did you use the bowl as your inspiration? Bowl? No, I know it's, uh, it's matching, huh? No, I didn't, but these are, I get questions about these bowls a lot because look how they're, they're so flexible. And yes, I it's, just, it's exactly color. the same color, hand. It's exactly the same color. Sorry, you can't even like, yeah, this beautiful blue look. It is. Very right. nice. So these bowls are really great for royal icing work as well, because when you're mixing it, you can um, hold it in your hand, and then they they bend. So you can pour everything out into a bag. They are from Dollar Store. So if you are in the Dollar Store, look them up. Um, I got these maybe six years ago and I have a bunch of others that I have just in case something goes wrong because I think I wouldn't survive without them. So now I'm going to 
I'm going to just add, I don't like a lot of buttercream to have on a cupcake. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. And then because these are quite small, I'm using a palette knife, which I'm sure many of you have seen. It's super popular these days, creating flowers, floral designs and cakes and cupcakes with palette knife. So you just want to spread it on. So you said the dollar store for your bowls? Yep. Yep. I think it comes, if I can find them, they're still, I still, I have red ones that I purchased before we moved. Um, yeah, I think it comes in a pack of maybe five or something. I mean, for $2, seriously. And they are dishwasher safe. So that's really great. So now I just add a little bit of white just to give it some highlight at the top. You don't want to like smooth it too much. I want it to look like waves somewhat. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take, this is my white buttercream. And this is a piping tip number 16. It's a star tip. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around the edge, making waves. So I'm starting here, making a swirl. And I'm going to make opposite swirl. Oh, no, opposite is this way. <laughs> I get <am> confused. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to add some white nonpareils. If you watched my um, live a few days ago on how to make um, realizing succulents, I also used these nonpareils in that live. And now all you have to do is stick this board here. Do you have any photos up here? I'm looking, you deleted them? Of what? Yes, Have I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I, I wanted did. to show them. So this week, Han has been live every day. She's going to be live for the rest of the week. She's trying to get a Facebook challenge. So you guys, uh, are you doing it at a special time every day? Um, at at uh, two o'clock Eastern time, I'm doing it. Two o'clock. I'm adding a little bit of white. Madri is saying mm -hmm. they're having a very cold uh, winter in uh, South Africa. Well, it's been going around, I suppose. We've had a really cold winter here. St. Vincent. Must be warm in St. Vincent, Monica. Thank you, Jennifer. See, these come together really, really quickly. And I will have a full tutorial. So, Han, though, uh, that cone, probably not ideal to freeze. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I find, actually, that um, as if it was baking, I suppose it's getting like from all the moisture from the cake and all, it's getting softer. So some of the like the seal started to like expand. Yeah, undo it itself. So I was like worried. But then um like it was it was done and it was fine. But uh, when I took it out of the oven, I was like, wow. But then it just uh, retracted again. So it was mm -hmm. fine. But I don't know how the other other ones bake with the flat bottom. Has anyone baked those with the flat bottom? Because those are super popular. Don't yes. I mean, these are so cute. The thing is, inside, inside of them, I also have a jam to keep them moist. Because I've read most people have trouble um, that they dry out. So that's why I'm using recipe hot as, oh, Tennessee. I love Tennessee. Blue Ridge. Hello. 
It is. That's the last time we saw each other in Tennessee. Yes. In the Smoky Mountains. Yes. Oh, Bonfast watching from Rwanda. Hello. What was I saying? Yes. So I like to use recipe. I used recipe for my lamignons or lamingtons. Sorry, I think I'm always saying it wrong. It's a Australian or New Zealand uh, recipe dessert. Go and down a little, little bit with your cone hand. They are perfect. So I, uh, I, in that recipe, I use some honey in a sponge. You can use agave syrup as well. It's only two tablespoons. You don't really taste the honey, but what, what it does, it helps to keep the cake moist for longer, you know? Hello, Diana from Mauritius. In, in Montreal, I've actually met through my life many people from Mauritius, surprisingly. I always, you know, it's just such a small part of the world, but I did run into several people over the course of my uh, human adventure, let's call it. <laughs> Yes, the Smokies are very nice, Heather. Um, Fire Chick is saying she puts uh, like cake pop inside the, the the cones. Cake pops, yes, I actually have done that because one of one of them actually ex did explode. <laughs> oh. So this is a. I also made cupcakes with that batter, so I crumbled it and I used some cream cheese frosting. So. Um, and this is what's inside of this one. You see how uh, you can actually see the difference between these two, like, you see the seam is a bit undone. But it doesn't look, it doesn't even show like. Yeah, you, you would have to, yeah, you can be like, no, just it, it's fine. We're always our worst, you know, we see every little thing. So that's how difficult it's these are. Hmm? Is it still Shark Week? Come on, Shark Week is every week now. Is it? Every, uh, <laughs> well, I think it's August now. Now I'm going to do a beach theme. So Ooh. to make the beach theme, I have here, um, I, I went to the beach and I brought some sand here for you guys. Oh, those are how, for you. How, <laughs> how lovely. This is actually edible sand that we often use on cookies, actually, <laughs> right? So you can uh, take your graham crackers, you can get uh, sugar cookies, you can um, use tea cookies or some anything you like that is kind of like a um, light brown color or pale color and just process it in your food processor. And then I would recommend sifting it because there are a lot of times these bigger chunks that they don't get pulverized. And so sifting it, you will get this fine powder that you can then use on your cookies as sand, or uh, today I'm going to be using it on buttercream. Teresa, the fires, um, I'm not seeing them here in Montreal, but we are getting fog, a smog, not fog, smog because of it. So it's far away, but the, the pollution is traveling. There's a lot of uh, fires here, Han, in... Uh, the states, California, British Columbia, Quebec has some. There's a, sadly a lot of forest fires. What's causing the fires? Is it? I guess dry season. I didn't really look it up to see if maybe it was like human, you know, kind of um, error. You know, people don't put out their fires. Mm -hmm. Here there was, a, there, I don't know if it's still going on. There were some fires here as well. And... Um, I was outside, I couldn't sleep, and I think I told you the, the moon was orange. Was oh, like, yes, that's a, yes, it was, that's a, it was orange. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm going to dip it in my sand. So, how does that taste, would you say, those crumbs on there? Like, do you find it's good? Like, I've not done that. I'm curious. <laughs> no, but I'm just wondering, like, yeah, does it... No, does no, it no, I think it's actually good. It's not, like, if you use, obviously, if you use a stale cookie, it's going to taste awful. But if you yes. use like, a good vanilla cookie and uh, something that you actually like, it, it's actually pretty tasty. It's not, like, 
you know, off-putting or anything. And it's, not, is, it's not hard on the teeth. No, 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 no. The only thing is like, if you don't like the texture, um, but there's not a whole lot on there. Like if you put a lot of it, you could, I think it's like powder, you know, like uh, imagine eating breadcrumbs. Yeah. So that's probably not like the, the most delicious thing if you have a lot of it. Okay. So now I'm going to take, and this is a bag that I striped with white and um, navy blue, Swiss buttercream. And I'm going to make some waves on the portion of it or sea or ocean. Is that a 16 piping tip? Yes. And I'm doing the same swirls, you know, they don't, oops. So Han has her supply list in the coffee shop. I have the link up on the screen there. And she also has a blog with, I mean, how many years have you had your blog? Oh, it's been so, since 2010. I'm so very young. I'm so young. You're so young. I'm so young. She started when she was one. No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> so um, there's, the, there's the address on the screen. Oh gosh, okay. I'm like, have you seen Benjamin Button movie? Oh yes. yes. <laughs> I'm going backwards. <laughs> so be aware in five years, I don't know what's gonna happen. All right, so now I'm going to add the fin. Um, so the shark is coming right up on the beach. I, I'm a little I'm nervous. On the beach and something else is uh, happening on this one. So I actually found, and these are also from Dollar Store. You can source them out easily. My um, umbrellas. I can't see. Put it under the big, uh, big, big screen. Okay, let me move these. Oh, a little umbrella. Now I see it. Yes. These are so delicate. You have to be so gentle with them. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could also use brown sugar. Absolutely. And then this thing, it's supposed to go up, right? To keep it. I wish there was a, like a button you could just press, you know, <laughs> it would open up. <laughs> I'm having the most <laughs> difficult time to getting this parasol to open. Come on. They're very delicate. But, well, this one is. Maybe that one is delicate and defective. <laughs> well, it looks like it's actually defective. So this is not going to protect anyone from sun. <laughs> okay, let's try. Uh, I have a couple more. So let's try another one. Well, Jeremy, I hope you hear from one of those jobs soon. It's a stressful time. You're moving oh, and all that. Yes. Good luck. Good luck, Jeremy. So this one is working. Look. Oh, there. Oh. Is that what you carry down the beach? Yes. You I'm could so wear it in your hair, actually. Because I'm so little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so little. I carry this to the beach. Yes. So now here is your cupcake. And you're just going to stick it in there. Another um, component you could add are flip flops. That's what I was hoping to do, but I think it would probably over overwhelm the design. But it would be super cute. You could do those, I think, in royal icing. I tried to cut them out from the streamers, but it's a bit pain to cut such small oval shapes. Mm -hmm. So from royal icing, they would work as well. So Han. Would you use the, the, the holder that you bake them in to display them on your dessert table? You could, or you could also make your own holder. Um, and I have done that in the past. I've made, I've made these with um, meringues, but I also made them with, um, what did I make? I made something, I can't remember. So what I did, I took an um, empty box, 
obviously not a big box. You want to have like an appropriate size to, to the amount of uh, cupcakes you're using. Can I just, then, did you make a video so that they can see it or do you, is this, you didn't film it? I don't it. remember, I don't remember which video it is. Oh. I don't remember. I did, I did do, I did do a video, I think, yes. Where I cut, where you cut the holes and then you can kind of display, you could wrap it in a, in a number of different, uh, uh, wrapping papers to make it look pretty because these are like because these are not flat bottom these are hard to display that is true so you need a special um like a display holder like this one that i have this is from Wilton, and this one is also listed in a in a supply list it comes handy i have to say like I said, you could also use a carton box, make uh, holes in it. Because that holder is 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 uh, metal. I mean, it's yes, it's stainless steel. I think. I think it would. I mean, you could. What make, you could do to make it like nicer, you could maybe put some ribbon on it. You know, wrap some yeah. ribbon on it or something like that. It does look nice. It's not like it's uh, ugly looking. It's very, it's very functional. That's, I mean, and it does store nicely because um, the legs actually fold, so you can store it easily. It's not. Um, uh, I'm going to have to Google a flight for beer samples. I guess it's like a wooden support now. I'm trying to visualize it. It's kind of like a thing for beakers, I think, also I've seen. Kristen, what you're referring to, they're usually wood, I think. That would be pretty. Okay, let's do the beach. So you want to think about that if you want to, you know, if you're having a party, you want to just at least, uh, you know, have and your if you have flat. If you have the flat and flat bottom bottom ones, and you don't overwhelm the bottom with buttercream, because if you, you know what I mean, like if you put it, the buttercream heavy. on it, it will buttercream yeah. get it's quite heavy, so then it will probably, you know, fall yeah, over. Yeah. If you keep a moderate amount of buttercream on the top, you should be able to just Put them on a table or use a cupcake a cupcake tin you know yes like, who says you can do that and this is also uh, tip number 16. If needed be, you, you might want to wipe the tip a little bit mm -hmm. so it's easier for you to see and it comes out nicer. I want to see that on a cookie too. What? What you're doing, that would look pretty on a cookie. On a cookie, yeah, it would, would, wouldn't it? Yeah. So now we need the shark fin. And really, you could even use those shark fins on a cookie. You know, it's. Yes, I'm gonna make more shark cookies. Yeah. Very nice. We need uh, another parasol. I'm gonna use orange one. You better work. You will be in trouble. Now, also keep in mind, if you're making the display yourself, you have ability to make the holes more apart so then you can decorate the, the top more this these are maybe i would say inch apart so if you decorate it heavily then they will you know touch each other and then you will squish your design mm -hmm. so that's also you want to keep that in mind oh this one is broken come on all right so all right, it's okay. It's a little broken, but we can work with it. All right, so here is my cupcake. I should probably put it, I'm gonna put it on this side. Okay. Very pretty. The umbrella is very pretty. 
Thank you. I do like it myself. All right, so that's how you can make two different. A um, little bit down. Perfect. Super. Very nice hand. So the supply list is in her coffee shop. The link there is on the screen. Are you going to eat? I'm, I'm tempted to buy it, but I need to take my pictures. Oh, uh, pictures first. So I, I'm going to. Uh, I'm just going to mention something. I mean, I'm assuming most people know about Pinterest, but this there, if you go on Pinterest, if you don't know what that is, you can get a lot of ideas there and, and, you know, use concepts and carry stuff like, you know, from one, I, you know, kind of as inspiration and stuff. So you can go and check out, create an account. If you don't know how that works over there, you can create an account and save your stuff for yourself. It's a really, um, kind of great way to stay organized with your ideas. I have a Pinterest with a few of my uh, posts, as does Han. And yeah, so you can good. save your favorites that way. I also managed to get my stuff up on coffee today. I'm using um, Cookie Cutters by Sweet Sugar Bell. And she's got two sets actually. So there are mini, set, mini cookie cutters and she has uh, number one and number two. This is from her, I think, number one collection. And I mean, they're so versatile. I think it was $20 American for this huge set of, of uh, assorted cookie cutters. And she actually just launched um, smaller lots of them at Michael's. So that's what I'm using today. On Friday, I made these with... Um, Han and Amber, when we um, we were doing a beach theme, this Friday, Han's finished. Uh, no, Amber's finishing her house that she started, so that'll be good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start with my where's my video here. So here's the flip flop, and for the cup for the cupcake toppers, I generally roll my cookies at a quarter inch, but because it's going on a cupcake, I found that it was better to use the dough easy rolling guide, the thinner one. If you don't have one, it's like a mat that um, comes with guides so that when you roll your cookie dough out, that it stays like that you're always at the same thickness. And you can so try using thinner bamboo sticks, if you can source the, if you're outside of, I don't know if they ship internationally. And you can see I bake them together. So these are, if you don't know the term Franken cookie, that's when you use two or multiple. In this case, it's exactly the same cutter twice. So I cut the first one and then I use the cutter to cut the hole out of the first one so I could fit the second one. And then I bake them together. And you can see there, I bake them on the perforated mat. You have a nice kind of finish underneath. They actually even look like underneath the flip flops. And then I just outline them in black. You wanna let your outline dry just a little bit. And then if you want, you can pipe them at the same time both, but I do find that if you want to make sure your icing doesn't jump from the sections, you want to maybe um, let it crust just a little bit. And you can make them uh, the day before. And also, if you make cookies and you don't sell cupcakes, well, you could offer toppers as an add-on to your to your um, you know shop. So you say, okay, you want to order custom cookies for your party. I mean, I think cupcakes are kind of like the entry level for beginner bakers. So a lot of moms bake cupcakes. So maybe they pick up some cupcake toppers that you could, you know, make and then add them to their, to her cupcakes, you know, because a lot of people order toppers on Etsy made out of fondant. So you could, you know, market, create a little product line. And your cupcake toppers would match exactly the cookies that they order for their party and have like a really cute set. So you could make them any any um, color, any design you want. A couple of weeks ago, I did bigger flip-flops. You can watch that. I had done like a jeweled 
strap. But in this case, we're gonna keep it simple. These are really small cookies. And you can see here, I've got them just with a black line. You could add sanding sugar if you want to them, whatever you want. You could add a little flour, a sprinkle. So I'm just... I see we have a few people joining us. So guys, thanks for joining us today. Today we are doing a beach theme, cupcake decorating. Marlon is doing beach um, toppers for her cupcakes. And I just finished decorating my shark ice cream cones. You will be able to watch the replay once we are done with the live on both Facebook and YouTube. And if you are watching the replay, let us know in the comments that you watched the replay and where are you watching from. We love to hear from you guys. So if you look again at my, I, where's my little inspiration sheet? So you can see some cupcakes, it's like a flat top decoration. And then there's the ones where they, like if you're a bit away looking at the dessert table, the decoration is a bit up so that you can see it, you know? And so that was my plan for these. I want them to be inside oh, the cupcake. Hi, Joseph. We're sorry to hear that. I hope everything is okay. And so you're just pushing that inside the cupcake and then it'll stand up and it'll give you the side view instead of just the top view. And I'm going to now look at the, so I'm doing a clam shell. So you're cutting two little shell cookies. They actually sell um, some plungers of shells. So here I just kind of dipped it. Do I have a video of it here? So I dipped, this is just a simple um, full flood and then I added some detail. So this is like the top and then the other one is like the inside of the shell. So when you see like the mother of pearl inside and then I'm just using the same color that I used on the flip-flops. And you can mix as many colors as you want, but the more colors you mix, just a lot more work, you know? So here I just, with uh, watercolor, just very simply, once the surface is dry, I just quickly added watercolor to it and then dusted it with some pearl. And then here I'm just going to put a little pearl in there. Pearl dust? I'm sorry? You use pearl dust, right? You said yes, I did, I did. Just on the inside. So these are sixlets. Sixlets are actually chocolate. So there's so many different sprinkles on the market, but I find that a lot of them are not really, um, they're pretty, but they're not really pleasant to eat, you know? Yeah. And so I'm putting the, the pearl kind of close to the opening so that it's not too hidden. And then I'm just putting a little bit of icing on top to glue it and then back here. So that's gonna kind of hold the little clam. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. So it's just like that. And then you can place that on top of your cupcake. So where's my... Do so you I'm using like here, this, this is actually just to mention, so I've, I've ordered from Drip Color. It's this uh, company that is, I guess, starting to sell in North America. This particular one is you mix this into your batter and it bakes and adds flavor. And in this case, it added color, but these are actually coconut. So it was no color, but they taste like coconut. So I've got here my sanding sugar in this silicone bowl, which will help me kind of smush the shape to get like a rounded shape. I use their powdered color to color my icing and look at the, the label. It's quite a nice like sand color, but then when you open it, it's quite green. And so I'm not that happy with my icing color, but I had mixed it and so. So the color, so the color actually did um, represent the color that you saw in the- Yeah, it did. Does it, when you activate it, does it change? It became, I don't know, it became kind of like a greenish tone. So, and now I'm just adding like that. And then I'm using this bowl to kind of shape the, um, the roundness. So you don't want to squish too much in there. So you're just kind of like dabbing it so that it gets rounded and you, then you don't have to fuss. Oh, so you're both using sand, but you're using, okay. 
I, yeah, I, I have these this uh, sending sugar. And then you can kind of remove your your excess and do another little dip if you need to. Okay, and once it's coated, you can actually, you know, with clean hands, you can actually touch it. And the same applies when you're working on cookies. And now underneath my little shell, I'm just adding a little dollop of icing and I'm securing that to the top of the, of the cupcake. And you see, not, you know, it's not so, so big. It's giving a cute it's little. Adorable. Really, really cute. So that's that one. Now, this cupcake here, I'm leaving my, I put some little wax paper on it just when I was putting them in the, um, the freezer because I was stacking them. I didn't want them to get all smushed. So that's, and so I'm leaving it to protect the cake from the sanding sugar. I'm talking, is there any questions? No, everybody's loving it. Okay, so now I'm adding a little bit of that. Here, let me just move this a little, little bit over. So I'm just adding that, again, that kind of like yellowish icing right here. And I've got the wax paper protecting and I'm going to dunk it. So I don't want sanding sugar all over. So I'm just dunking like that. And then when I remove my wax paper, you see, I get like a clean line there. And I'm going to grab I'm my dry. With extending sugar, no? I'm sorry, what? It's like stenciling with extending sugar. Yeah, exactly. So now I'm just doing like a little cut here, just a pre, their room temperature. And I've got my flip-flops that I made. And I'm just pressing them into the cupcake. You see? And so uh, you're getting that front decoration. And then I've got a 104 piping tip. And I'm adding a wave on the back here. Sweet Em says it's very cute. Thank you. So I wish I had a little bit of... Um, of a smaller tip, but the joys of live, it's a bit tricky. So now I just want to add a few fondant uh, seashells to my... Um, what is the buttercream you're using? It's the ermine, and it did separate. You have to, like, whip it. It did. Sometimes I find heating it helps. I it's did, good. but it did it again, so I was having a few little problems with it. And I'm just adding a little bit because it... it you know, the sanding sugar can cause it to not stick on the surface. And I'm just putting that. You could put one of Hans' shark fins behind the foot. Yes. It is yes. so good. I love the little seashell. And then you can just close. See, there's a bit of a gap. And so the seashell hides the gap from being squished in there. But you see you're getting a cute little front look. So then you have the sand and the nice color in the back. So that one's done. And my last version. So now I've got my little sand castle, which is a cake. If you look at it, Ooh, where's my, where am I in frame here? So this is a little cake. And so I have it pre-recorded here. And um, you can just you don't have to do the darker brown that you're going to see me do. You can just use a marker to add the windows and the door. You don't have to. Um, oh, I am using a marker in this case. Yeah. So you just kind of quickly with a food marker. Obviously, the icing has to be dry. And then you're able to come in and um, outline and coat those lines with the sanding sugar. So you need the base icing to be completely dry for the sanding sugar. And now with stiff icing, I'm standing the little sand castle onto a, a round cookie. And then it gives you a little topper. So the thing is with this one, there isn't much space to be jabbed into the, cup, the cupcake. You see, there's like, there's nothing. So that's why I put this little foot on it so that it could stand up on the cupcake. It's a slightly different design than the initial one, you know, that I did. 
And so I'm just adding a bit of icing, putting my little sandcastle on, okay. and then gluing it first, and then you. Mm -hmm. And then behind it, I've got my icing, and I'm just kind of smoothing it. It's hidden behind, so don't worry too much about that. And then I'm using my um, star tip. And this is a bigger one than what you were using. This is mm, 22. 22? Yeah, that's slightly bigger, yes. And I'm starting here, and I'm just kind of doing shells on top of each other, and I'm hiding the front of that disc that I supported the castle on you see yeah and this is you got your waves yes exactly and then in that wet or fresh you can kind of press in more little seashells they actually do sell chocolate seashells so you could do that or you could make them with candy melts if you have a mold and there they are here I have my other is it this one? This one here. So you can see here. Oh, you have three cameras. How fancy. This one's not as, as good. Here, let me switch it up to this one. Oh, yeah. One. What's wrong with it? Well, the, it was oh, like. It's pretty. Okay, screenshot. Well, we can do it. We can screenshot on the replay. We can watch it. Where's yours? Oh, where's mine? Mine are here. Oh, I'm afraid to take it, pick it up. <laughs> here. Okay. Remove, remove, there. Okay. Perfect. So that's kind of my ideas. The camera angle, I'm trying, but the color was not good. I'm looking at it. My gosh, the stuff looks weird. Look at the color. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What color? Well, it's like greenish, no teal? It is. Again, my, my color, so you can see here the um, icing color. Here, let me switch the oh, camera. These are two different colors? Did they have supposed to be two different colors on the back and the front? Yeah, so this is the that food cut. Look, at, it's very green. And then on this side, this, I guess this one's a bit closer, but the other one I didn't like. You didn't like it? I kind of like it. It's like electric greenish. No? Yeah, but it's sand. Like, I don't hate the color. I just don't like it for this particular, you know? Okay. So that's it. That's my, um, that's my beach scene. And that's my shark. <laughs> so on Friday, on Friday... Amber's finishing her, um, her, um, here she may, do I have a picture here? I have the, the footage from when she was coming the house. Inspired by Kid Todd, right? Yes. So she's going to be finalizing or not finalizing. I think she's doing more parts. I don't know if she's assembling. Amber, are you watching? Are you putting that together on Friday? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> So I do have a supply list on um, in my coffee shop. And also, some of you might know that I do like my AliExpress. So I was on AliExpress. And so it's time to start thinking about if you're planning on ordering for Christmas, just because their shipping delays can go up to 60 days. So you want to think about that if you're going to do it. Some of you? Hey. Eh? Where you're referring to move some of you know that you like AliExpress. Are you like I'm just saying that I like I did actually in my supply list for today. Understatement that you like AliExpress. Well, I do like AliExpress. You love AliExpress. Yes. <laughs> she very much loves AliExpress. There's a lot of good stuff there. I actually am very jealous now. But you can go check it out. They ship to Spain as well. Yes, they do. They do ship to Spain. And if it's shipping in Spain, yeah, if you if I get the shipping, I get it in three days. That's not a stupid question. It's an excellent question because if you find AliExpress, you will uh, spend all your money there. <laughs> it's oh. a, it's a basically um, Amazon kind of without all the uh, overhead, like, the, you know. Well, what happens is Amazon 
often it's Chinese products that have been shipped from China and then the, the person who purchased them marks them up and resells them to you. This is directly from China. And so they're basically kind of taking away the middleman to a degree. Yeah, I'm sure there's still a, a profit margin, but anyway, you can check it out often. Um, there is a, a big difference, but you just have to be patient to get your stuff. Uh, you know, Amazon is next day. This can be up to 60 days. Next month. But, but then it's a it's surprise. Like, it's like make an order, forget about it. And then it comes and it's like, oh, Christmas. A surprise. Yeah, it's like a surprise. Somebody right. sent me a gift. So Linda is asking, did the seashell mold come from AliExpress? This one, no, actually. I bought this at a cake store. And if you do look on AliExpress, I mean, the, the, the difference that you pay for a mold on AliExpress, they can sometimes be a dollar. And some of the molds in cake stores are $20. But this is, a, but this is a, the one you have. It is an exceptional quality. I have a few of them. And they are very, very good. Well, they sell these too, though. These yeah, very. That, good ones. That, oh, really? That very. Uh... Yes. Oh, okay. I did not know that. So Diana is asking, what are you ordering for Christmas? Well, I did uh, in my coffee shop for today's um, supply list. I added a Christmas cutter collection and a Halloween, and so they're there. If you want to just, you can go look. You can download it, and it'll take you to the to the shopping. And you can see them. So the thing also is everybody has the same shape. So this way you're getting a little bit of a different cutter collection. And you can, you know, everybody has, if you want to be a little bit original. Diana says she's a premium member of AliExpress. So are you, a, so you could, they have. I didn't know there was a premium membership. They didn't. Well, out. Um, oh, I have to look out. <laughs> oh, look, she's visibly upset. <laughs> Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. That was my husband. And unfortunately, uh, he has That's nowhere good. other way to pass. <laughs> That's the way he gets in the house. I guess he could. We, 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 do have, we do have a main door, but we just don't use it. We just use the, the, the porch door. So. I don't know if anyone um, who uses front door. I do. Do I you? Do. Sure. Do you? Most people come through the garage, no? No. I only come through the garage if I have my groceries. Okay, guys, do you use your front door every day, like to enter the house? <laughs> like, with the pandemic, like, with the pandemic, like, many people did not. Yeah, I bet, like cobwebs and everything. You don't even have to decorate for Halloween. So Florence, I agree with you completely, but if you look at the American and Canadian stores you're shopping from, many of their products that they're reselling to you at a markup are coming from China. So I agree with you completely if, if that can be done, but if the product is being resold, I, I'd rather have the money in my pocket. So people are coming through all kinds of backdoor garage, only gar garage back of the house see yep so you can check so you have to keep me updated about your membership interesting i'm gonna check it out i only shopped at aliexpress a few times but hopefully uh, soon i had a few things that i want to i want to check out anyway so next week uh, what are we doing next week we don't know yet you can <laughs> well i know on uh, friday um i'm actually gonna do a santa on friday Ho, 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 ho. Yes, I see Diana's a big fan as well. She, she <laughs> Hi, okay. So, I mean, the thing is, I wasn't comfortable, you know, but now I think more and more people are using it, so it's becoming uh, like... Well, they're know. actually now uh, PayPal. They accept oh, PayPal. They, they accept PayPal now. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. I do have an account there because I did purchase something. But um, yeah, not to like maybe one or two things. Anyway, thank you for joining us, guys. Today was a beach. Thanks, everybody. To watch the replay after we're done. If you're just um, joining us and you missed it, it's going to be available on Facebook and YouTube. And we'll yeah, you have another cupcake decorating next week. And you can catch this this replay as well from last tu uh, Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. 
Yes, last Tuesday we did uh, food inspired cup like cupcakes. That's right. right. So I don't know what we are doing next week. Um, we'll see. We'll see what we come up with. Be sure to follow us on Instagram where we sh always share updates when we are going live in our stories, so you don't miss it. And somebody earlier mentioned that they wanted to post a photo in the comments. You can um, tag us on um, Instagram. Yes, if we you love share a photo with us. Here, Cynthia, thank you for backing me. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to save a bit of money, that's all. So thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you next week. I'm looking for my picture here. There we go. See you next week. Bye. Bye guys.